I think uh, Help for Heroes is a fantastic charity. Um, I think the kind of British kind of rugby public have always been uh, very supportive, and I think the, the players have, as, as well. You know, I think we appreciate the, the efforts these guys have put into it, and unfortunately the injuries that, that come come with that. It was a normal routine patrol in Afghanistan, uh, Helmand Province, and uh, we have been tasked to go and clear a helicopter landing site, but we didn't know that the high ground was being uh, covered with landmines and anti-tank mines. So we parked right over an anti-tank mine. So that's when we got hit and I got thrown away for well, a couple of meters. And at the same time, both of my legs were gone and uh, yeah, suffered other injuries as well. If we can assist in some, some small way in ensuring that their kind of rehab and uh, their recovery is speeded up and, and that, you know, that they're given every opportunity to recover, then it's a very small part we can play in, in helping on that. Health Heroes has done a very uh, fantastic job. Uh, they founded a program where I, I found out about the passion that I have about Paralympic sports. I can't play rugby anymore now because I can't run after losing my legs. Uh, I didn't know that, that I'll, I'll, I'll make it to, uh, to, to be uh, uh, competing in Paralympic sports. And it has just changed my life altogether. And I'm really looking forward to represent Great Britain in next year's Paralympic. I've had the call for asked to play in the Health Hero Games and I think it's a huge honour for me uh, and so um, yeah it's a very easy decision to uh, decide to come back out and uh, make do one more game. Um, I've just got a bit of training to do in between to make sure I'm uh, fit enough to, play, to be out there but uh, yeah no looking forward to it.